So this is rather fascinating. We have here a good old fashioned windmill. Obviously it pumps water out of the ground and it pours it down into the top of that large plastic tank which then goes by an underground pipe to uh, water the cows that I'm taking care of this winter. So obviously it freezes hard here in the winter sometimes. It was eight degrees last night, which raises a question of how do you manage you know this piping there's obviously no heat or anything out here so we've got the bottom um, valves and so forth encased in this box with some insulation and what happens is that the windmill is typically turned off and drained uh, in the night when it gets cold so we're going to turn this valve here which should first of all close the drain then if you're ever around a windmill you can see there's this thing this handle down is off do you see that handle down is off up is running so if you ever need to shut a windmill off that you're unfamiliar with typically if you pull down on that bar it's gonna do it and unfortunately for our video purposes we don't have any wind right now. It'll come up this afternoon for sure. So I can't really show you how it works. But anyway, the windmill up there turns and the turning of the windmill is transferred by a gear case to an up and down motion of that rod that you can see there. The rod pumps up and down. And then on this one, the rod goes all the way down to the bottom of the windmill, which is probably 100 feet down. And it's got a valve down there that pushes the water up so the water kind of climbs that column 100 feet to the surface and probably 25 more feet up to that T-junction and then it falls down by gravity into the tank. So it's a pretty ingenious solution and, and the height of that plastic tank and the fact that it's be, the water is being put up so high actually provides, I would say, low pressure yet pressurized water that can actually flow and use a valve so you know this rather complicated looking system is basically you know a more evolved version version of how the Great Plains were settled because there's water typically under the surface here there's typically not water on the surface and cattle drink an enormous amount of water so basically the the wind as much as we hate it when it blows the wind is what traditionally brought the water up out of the ground and pretty much what made agricultural settlement you know of the plains possible